What's happening, road dogs and highway hounds? It's early. It's like 5:30. Oh man, so <laughs> trying to keep my mind on track today. Uh, a man asked a question, and I just thought I'd do it on a video because. I don't know, man. I'm really busy, and it's like uh, a little overwhelmed right now with everything that's going on. It is. But anyway, so am I? He asked. He said, "I think you're missing uh, a lot of what's going on in the cryptocurrency space." And. Uh, by focusing too much on Bitcoin and Litecoin. And I get what he's saying. And I want to tell you why I focus on Bitcoin and Litecoin and I don't have to worry about the innovation that's going on in other in other cryptocurrencies. And you could and, and this is a this is something that I've been banking on for three years, three or four years, but now I've got examples that because it's happening, okay? A long time ago, I don't know about a long time, you know, it's hard to judge time in this space. Things just happen so fast, but I heard Andreas talk about Bitcoin, and I think it was about the time Ethereum was coming out or something like that, and the innovation that was happening there. And Andreas said, these things are going to be taken care of with side chains and drive chains. He said, Bitcoin may not be the most advanced network out there. He says, but it's good enough. Do you get that? It's good enough. In the way I look at Bitcoin and Litecoin, Bitcoin is the first one. So naturally it's gonna be clunky, right? It's gonna be, I think Andreas talked about it and described it one time as uh, Legos. You know, you're trying to build a, a structure with Legos. You can do it, but it's limiting. It's hard to work with and, and those types of things. And, and whenever you hear something about Bitcoin, you can pretty much assume that it's going to be correct about Litecoin because they're basically carbon copies of each other. There are differences. But, so, I'm sitting there thinking, well, if Bitcoin is good enough, then Litecoin is good enough because they're carbon copies. And I like the gold and silver concept, okay, but now... Uh, where am I getting at? Now you can start. You're starting to see the innovation and how it's happening on Bitcoin and Litecoin. Uh, Bitcoin and Litecoin. RSK is just waiting for. Segwit to be activated on the Bitcoin network, so it can ha Bitcoin can have Ethereum-like smart contracts. But the cool thing about about the way Bitcoin's smart contracts are is they're built on the side. So if you don't need that, you can get it with a, with a pretty. You can get the uh, the value holdings. Of Bitcoin, you can hold value in Bitcoin with a very basic program, one that's not, and one that's been refined and tested. I mean, you don't, I don't think we comprehend the innovation and the, and the, uh, and the uh, strengthening of that code of the Bitcoin and Litecoin code, because when it happens on Bitcoin, then Litecoin knows that. All that innovation that's happened on Litecoin 
happened first on Bitcoin. And that probably makes a lot of Bitcoiners mad, which keeps them away from Litecoin. But what that does is it, it allows the leveling of the playing field for the new people coming in. Okay, so they, you know, Rolling Stones and the Beatles. The Beatles came out first, and then the Rolling Stones came out right after them, all right? And everything that the Beatles would do, the Rolling, would, the Rolling Stones would do right afterwards. And it's kind of funny. The Rolling Stones are still around today, and they're still rocking and rolling, and the Beatles are a distant memory. But... Bitcoin and Litecoin is kind of the same way. So the Stones fans didn't really like the Beatles fans, and the Beatles fans didn't really like the Stones fans. Because it's like, man, you know, the Beatles come out with uh, a psychedelic album, and, the, and then the Stones, you know, three or four months later come out with a psychedelic album. You know, they come out with, and it, it, a lot of those things happen with them. You know, Segwit was developed by the Bitcoin Core team. Okay, all of that development and hard work that went into to doing Bitcoin because Roger Ver wants to have his way with his Bitcoin and he's going to hold it hostage. You know, they Bitcoin should have had SegWit first, but it doesn't because one man is holding it up. That tells you that <laughs> there needs to be an alternative or, uh, you know, which is what Litecoin is kind of, uh, it levels the playing field. It keeps the honest people honest. And, you know, I don't, I'm not going to get into that, but it's just, uh, that's the way it is. But all that innovation, you know, multi-sig, all the stuff that you could do on Litecoin was developed first on Bitcoin. So that development came through Bitcoin. And now, now you've got things like RSK Labs, yours.org, uh, these, these types of uh, side chain type deals that happen alongside of Bitcoin and Litecoin. Now these types of innovation are happening on Bitcoin. You just have to use the on-ramps and off-ramps of Segregated Witness to get on to RSK. So I, I was looking at a tweet yesterday, and I suck at tweeting. Believe me, man. I mean, some of you guys are tweeting at me. I can see them, and then it's like once I, once I like move away from it, man, I have no idea how to get back to that stuff. So I suck at if I can tweet or like something that right right away, you know, I'm good. But if I lose it, man, I'm done. This, I, I just do not get Twitter. Twitter is I don't know what the hell it is. But anyway. Uh, anyway, so what the heck am I talking about? So this, now you're seeing, so you're seeing the smart contracts, but here's the thing, there's problems with Bitcoin and Litecoin and cryptocurrency in general, in that, in that, uh, the volatility is is a huge problem. I mean, would you want to sign a contract for a house for 30 years paying in Bitcoin and Litecoin or any cryptocurrency? How are you going to do that? What if you promised, you know, back when Litecoin was at $3? Yeah, I'll give you uh, $3,000 over the next five years or 3,000 Litecoins over the next five years. Could you imagine that? And all of a sudden, you just added a zero to it? Oh, now it's 30000 That's a huge problem. It's a huge problem. And that's kind of what... It, it's these problems that arise are, uh, are what can be uh, fixed by a nickel coin if we get together and and think about it and come up with a solution. But here's the thing. I am uh, very uh, young and good looking. No, but I'm like 43 or something. Kind of an old man. Not really, but you know. Uh, no, I'm 
just saying. I remember. I remember the. Uh, I remember the dot com boom in the nineties, and uh, it's just very similar. A lot of money's being made right now. A lot of money. There's a spider. A lot of money is being made right now, but there's only going to be a few giants that are going to that that are going to survive through this. A lot of people are going to lot lose a lot of money. So there's a lot of euphoria going on right now. There's a lot of big heads. There's a lot of uh, there's just a lot of. Uh, unrealistic expectations it's not going to go on forever like this you're going to have a crash and there's going to be a few strong ones that survive and uh, I'm sticking with Bitcoin and Litecoin Ethereum you know I think uh, Min said there was a, uh, talking about a video of, uh, will Ethereum overtake Bitcoin? It very possibly could. No, people are going to get all gooey about that. But, uh, I mean, you got freaking huge banks that are professional money manipulators and, and all this kind of stuff. It's never going to overtake Bitcoin and what Bitcoin is designed to do. But when you release uh, a coin and you release 80% of the pre mine, pre sale, and you only have 20, 20%, 15, 20% to, uh, for everybody else to fight over. It's really easy to manipulate that thing, especially for professional money managers, hedge fund managers, Goldman Sachs types. I mean, and that's not to say that, you know, I don't trust banks. I'm uh, talking about how old I am. I remember I, I had a guy that lived with, with us when I was growing up. My mom and dad took care of him. He was born in 1898. And he went through the Great Depression. My grandpa went through the Great Depression. And one thing I remember about people who went through the Great Depression in the United States, when the money came to the bank, they took it right out of the bank, and they always had a big stack of cash because they didn't trust the banks because the banks ripped them off. And that's something that happens in history throughout time. And I don't forget those lessons. Do any of you remember anybody who's lived through the Great Depression in the United States? You lived through the Great Depression in the United States. <laughs> you got your life savings in the bank, and you go to the bank, you know, you got, you know, whatever, however, whatever you got in the bank, and you go there tomorrow, and it's gone. Sorry, FDIC doesn't work. We just figured that out. That's why FDIC, the FDIC insurance is there. We got central banks to back it up. It's because of the Great Depression and everybody went to the bank and their bank's account were wiped, bank accounts were wiped out. You're right not to trust the banks. The power of Bitcoin and Litecoin is taking the power away from the banks and putting it into your hands. But uh, that's a dangerous thing too because you gotta, you gotta worry about your own security. But no, so the men's question: Am I missing out on the uh, technological developments? By focusing on Bitcoin and Litecoin and not worrying about that, I've I've been going on faith, you know, that Andreas was right, but now I'm looking at. 
RSK Labs at Consensus 2017. They're talking about going live. Problem is, one man, Roger Ver, is pretty much holding Bitcoin uh, captive and not letting segregated witness go on to uh, to enable RSK Labs to bring smart contracts and touring completeness to Bitcoin and Litecoin. Well, Bitcoin anyway. And so when I tweeted back, I did snag that tweet. I tweeted back and I said, uh, what the heck did I say? I said, why not, why not do it on Litecoin? Gabriel, I think, I think he liked that tweet. But at BTC4LTC, the number four. At BTC for LTC is my Twitter. And some of you guys got got my Twitter and uh, are tweeting me. And I'm kind of going, oh my gosh. A little bit overwhelmed by this stuff. But I got to go to work. I'm going to get my load. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Sayonara. I'll probably see you tomorrow.